local restaurants will reopen by Christmas, but some wonder if it's even worth it. Phil Lindemann with their news from Avalanche Physical Therapy on Crystal 93. First, holiday traffic is rising, and so is blood pressure on westbound I-70. It's backed up all the way. There must be 100 trucks here. That was Crystal listener Mark Mannheimer stuck on Floyd Hill this afternoon. It took him nearly an hour and a half to go 25 miles from Idaho Springs to the tunnels. Another listener spent four hours from C-470 to Frisco. CDOT is scrambling to finish paving on its westbound express lane project, and work continues through next Wednesday, day and night, with a break December 24th to 27th. There are no delays eastbound. A 21-year-old Dillon man, Tommy Angel Montez, was found dead in the Blue River north of Breckenridge this Monday. Breck Chief of Police, Jim Baird. He had left an apartment where he was with some friends in uh, Breck Terrace shortly before, um, it was about 1 a.m. Sunday into Monday. Montez was walking alone and likely drowned, what Chief Baird calls a tragic accident. You know, we live in an environment that's very extreme and can be incredibly unforgiving in the right circumstances. The Montez family is raising money for a funeral, collecting $4,500 from 68 donors in less than 24 hours on GoFundMe. To contribute, see Tommy Montez Memorial Fund. Today at noon, the first Summit County healthcare worker was vaccinated for COVID-19. Summit has 180 doses in hand, enough to vaccinate 90 people, two doses each over the next few weeks. Another 900 doses could arrive in time for Christmas, pending approval. Colorado's five-star certification program is rolling out right now, giving restaurants and more the option to reopen if they meet 13 criteria. Restaurants must upgrade ventilation, perform health checks at the door, and separate tables by at least 10 feet. All this is to reopen at 25% capacity, and Corey Forster of the Baker's Brewery says it might not be worth it. Best case scenario is probably break even. And, and when I say break even, I mean we're probably falling behind on rent. The earliest restaurants can reopen is Monday. The county and towns hope to inspect upwards of 350 in just 48 hours over the weekend. No other changes to the local public health order now extended through January 19th, including the 10-person limit on rentals and gathering. Resort Town Lodging took another big hit in November when occupancy fell 15% across the West. This from analytics firm Intopia. Travelers are leery about ski reservations and possible shutdown. Bookings through April are down 44%, on the books revenue down 34%, after small gains in October leading up to Thanksgiving. We'd been reporting on Summit's soaring real estate market and the $2 billion benchmark which Summit will break for the first time ever by December 31st. Dana Cottrell with Summit Association of Realtors says new homeowners here share a few traits. This desire for people to be in a bigger home with an office or a, a school space or to get out of the city. Some homeschooling parents are here to stay while others are not. Homeschooling has really been an interesting change for people. I've seen people that are like, we're going to be up there for the whole time we have to homeschool, but then plan that when their schools open, they're going to go back to bring their kids to be with the children they're used to. Availability is the one thing that could slow the market. Inventory is shrinking and getting smaller every day, reaching 20-year lows. Silverthorne is the second most popular housing market behind Breckenridge right now, and with more people come more fees. Starting in April, the town is charging homeowners an extra $10 per quarter and commercial owners an extra $50 for a stormwater management fund to monitor and repair aging infrastructure. Local guy Adam Weatherly is winner of Crystal 93's Mexico Getaway Giveaway. Four nights, five days at a four-star resort. I can't believe this. I'm speechless. I'm, I'm so excited. Uh, I'll, get, I'll get my sunscreen. I'm ready. More than 500 people entered. Big thanks to Dylan Ridge Liquors for hosting the contest. In sports, pro basketball is back next Tuesday, and pro hockey is back January 1st, but Major League Baseball might not return until May. USA Today reports owners are pushing for a delayed season to guarantee every player gets vaccinated before spring training. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, the due tour at Copper Mountain is canceled this season. Officials confirm the event is postponed until next winter due to COVID-19. This comes as X Games Aspen announces a fan-free athletes-only event in late January, and U.S. ski and snowboard team athletes are training daily in the Copper Superpipe. This would have been the second season for due tour at Copper. Phil Lindemann with your news from Avalanche Physical Therapy on Crystal 93.